Hi, I am Sally with A Homespun Hobby, and I got an order of paintings in tonight. So I wanted to let you know what I have here in Massachusetts that can be shipped to you. So it'll only take you however long it takes to get from Massachusetts to your state. All right, so I Okay, I am not sharing my screen tonight. I'm just going live, so I believe everything should work okay tonight. <laughs> All right, so I, quick recap of what I said a few times before. I had my website filled with a whole bunch of paintings that you see just about anywhere else. And then I learned about copyright infringement and a lot of the artwork is stolen and I thought you know I didn't believe that because I thought that the companies that I was buying from would be honest so not so not so true hi Stephanie oh thank you <laughs> so I took all those paintings off my site and I started adding the old masters thanks to somebody's suggestion and there's also photographs that um, in the public domain that I can use. And so all my paintings are pretty much their original diamond art paintings. So the old masters might pop up somewhere else because they're in the public domain. So my paintings are a little bit more expensive. And because when I order them from my manufacturer, they're actually considered a custom. They're not, you know, the run of the mill. And I only purchase, you know, just a handful of paintings. The price break is at a thousand. So when you guys go on other websites and you see really inexpensive paintings, that's because the they're either the manufacturer selling them directly or uh, hi Rita or um the manufacturer is selling them directly or a reseller probably bought them by the thousands and they have them in the warehouse. That's why they're so much cheaper. So I contacted my cousin, Diane, who is a wonderful artist and photographer. And I asked her if you, she wanted to send me some of her artwork and I'll pay her um, a percentage of the sales. And she's really excited. So she sent me some photography which I have three here. I'm going to show you one now. And I'm going to use my phone to show you because I'm not sharing my screen. But this is the red tiger lily. I hope you could see that. Can anyone tell me if you could see this? This is the red tiger lily. I have this in a 30 by 40. And it's $39.99. And I have seven here. At my house I hope you could see that okay because I can't tell because I'm not sharing my screen so there are seven of those and they're 30 by 40 and they're 30 colors the next one let's see go back and get this one I'm actually doing this one right now. This is my work in progress. I love the yellow lilies and there's a pond in the background and some mountains and the clouds and she's calling this one summer gold, which I think is absolutely perfect. Can you guys see this photograph okay or am I holding it too close? Very, oh good, thank you Rita. You know, I'll be honest, I'm not really a big fan of lilies. They're not my favorite flower but the colors are incredible, absolutely incredible. So this one is 30 by 40, 39.99 and uh, 30 colors. And there's one more, I've got five of these here in the house. Okay, and I'm gonna show you one more of hers and then I'm gonna move on to other paintings that I have. There it is. This one is another yellow lily It's called Wake to Face the Day. 30 by 40, 39.99, 30 colors. Oh, it has glare. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna do another another video, but that's not gonna be live, and that way I can actually insert the pictures 
into the into the video. Okay, is that better, Stephanie? Okay. So you can go on my website at homespunhobby.com and you can see these also. Okay, and now the next painting, whoops, I don't want to shut off my phone. The next painting is one of my favorites. I haven't done it yet. Um, I love the colors. So I'm going to show that to you. It's coffee and macaroons, macarons, coffee and macarons. So let me pull that up here. On uh, my phone again. Okay. I'm not sure. This has 40 colors. I'm going to show this. I'm going to pull this out of the box and show this a little bit. But if you like food or coffee, macarons, it has blueberries and chocolate macarons. And I just love the color blue. I've got to move along a little bit. I've got a um, board meeting at, oh, I got a board meeting at seven. This is, this is the, the box. These were shipped to me in boxes, not e-packets. I'm probably going to rebox them because this is the standard box with the um, Chinese to English translation. So it's rather amusing. <laughs> My factory is in China. I tried to find one in the United States. The only one that I know of that's supposedly in the United States I sent them an email and I said, can you, would you be willing to do my diamond art paintings? I said, I know we'd be competitors, but there's plenty of paintings to go around. And I never heard back from them. And then I looked at their reviews and uh, not so great. So that's the prize somebody won. So I'm kind of glad that uh, they didn't answer me. Okay. So this coffee and macarons is 60 by 45 and it is 40 colors, $42.99. So I'm gonna open this a little bit and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this comes with your typical um, your typical tray and pen, tweezers, and the wax. You know, I like the wax in the little pots. I think the pots are nice. But then I was thinking about it, and that's those are one-use pots. And so you're just going to get them, use the wax, and throw them away. So I'm not going to invest in those little pots because it's, it's just going to be trash. I mean, I recycle when I can. But that's just, that's just a lot of waste. Okay, coffee and macarons. And they have, I'm not going to open this too much because somebody's going to buy this. This has uh, 40 colors and it has the code. The code and the number for the colors. Here's all the diamonds for this. It also comes with a paper that has the codes and the numbers, and it tells you how many packets you have and how many, like there's one packet of this first color and there's 91 drills. Each packet, or yeah, there's 91 drills in the painting. Each packet has 200 drills. So that's nice. They're they're small and I tell you, I like that. Okay, so again, uh, 60 by 45, and they rolled it. Yeah, they rolled it out backwards. So hopefully there won't be any rivers in this, but there just might be. I'm not going to open this up to show you because, like I said, somebody's going to buy this. So I don't want to. I have two cats. So the less time the plastic is off this, the better. 
The canvas is a fabric canvas. It's not plastic. The glue is a the glue is a two-sided tape. Um, I one manufacturer I talked to told me that if I order a thousand or more, then it would be poured glue. But anything less than a thousand is a double stick tape. So I imagine that has to do with ease for them. All right, I am going to peel off a corner so I can show you the quality of the the quality of the um, canvas and the codes. I hope you could see this. I'm sitting in front of her just underneath my lights. So I'm hoping you can see that. But um, I don't have some of the. Yes, I do. I do have this. Um, what's it called? The layout. My manufacturer calls it a layout that he sends to me for approval. And uh, before I purchase the paintings or before I agree to have them made. And so I'm going to um, when as I receive those, I'm going to put them on my website so you can see them. I'm not going to have a lot of the finished paintings on there because I'm just me. And like I said, these are all pretty much originals or first time because I'm buying them, you know, the old masters. So they haven't been made yet. And I, I certainly don't have the time to do all, all these diamond paintings. All right. You know what? I'm going to put these in the boxes while I'm at my board meeting. Okay. So if you want, if you see a painting you want, comment sold and let me know what it is. Not really. Okay. Thanks, Stephanie. <laughs> and Rita, what's the wow? I'm just now seeing the, uh, the comment. I'm sorry. Okay. That's the, the lily I told you about. This is the Courier and Ives painting. I'm not going to open this. Um, the winner has not contacted me. The second winner. I sent everybody an email today, so they're probably working. So if this person doesn't email me, I'm going to send them a text message. All right. Oh, yes, yeah, Stephanie. So many crooked businesses. Yes. You know, and um, when I stopped buying from sellers and I started looking at manufacturers, they all have these paintings, too. And uh, so... Now they're contacting me. Do you want any paintings? I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't buy your paintings. Um, they are um, copyright infringement is a big deal in the United States, and I can get into a lot of trouble. The numbers. Oh, okay. So the numbers um, of the number of colors, Rita. So. My manufacturer and I send them work and they send me the the layout they called. So that's a nice benefit. That's a nice benefit. So this is the Courier and Ives. Now I'm going to show you some bigger ones. I'm going to show, oh, the Spirit of 76. I have two of the spirit of 76 and these are squares somebody bought this one and she wanted squares so i ordered two more in squares this is 50 by 80 54.99 this is going to be so nice all right i'll take this out so i can show you the Spirit of 76 is an original, an old masters by Willard something or other. I brought it up here. The Spirit of 76 is a well-known painting by the Ohio artist and Union Civil War veteran Archibald Willard. The painting, originally titled Yankee Doodle, was created in 1875 for the Centennial Exposition. The piece acquired the name Spirit of 76 while it was in tour while it was on tour in Boston. 
The painting was initially commissioned to be semi-humorous, but the death of Willard's father, the model of one of the painting's figures, changed the direction of its tone. It depicts three soldiers of the American Revolutionary War. Though one of them is wounded, the soldiers march on with a spirit and determination. The painting is on display at Abbott Hall in Marblehead, Massachusetts. I'd like to go see that. Marblehead is beautiful. It's one of those old cities that are so old that the houses are separated from the streets by a sidewalk. <laughs> because way back then, <laughs> there was no such thing as cars. So, all right, I'm going to look at this. Look at how big this is. All right. And I can't wait to see how many colors this has. Whoa. That's a long list of colors. Oh, my gosh. This painting. I can see why people get addicted to this. It's like I want to do every single one. How many paintings? Oh, you know what? I should look at the look at the thing. The, the paper that tells me about it. I'm just going to stay on for a few more minutes because I have my board meeting. I'm on the board of directors of a local theater group. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to open the packet. I'm going to have to open this up. Look at all these. All these drills. My goodness. Oh, and their hand checks. Somebody checked to make sure they had them all. Yay! That makes me so happy. There better not be any mistakes then, right? Archibald Willard. I asked for the artist's name to be put on top. And oh, you guys, I don't know if I can stand back far enough so you can see how big this is. <gasps> this is so exciting. All right, right down here. How many colors? How many colors? How many colors? The company I buy from uh, or the manufacturer has 147 colors, 49 colors. And, you know, if you've seen this painting, it's pretty much a lot of gray because, you know, it's a worn, torn area. Let's see that they're in. So I put my, uh, oh, I hope you could see this. I put my, what, watermark on the paintings. Anybody can get a copy of the painting if they want to, but they can go get their own. <laughs> Not mine, right? And really it's just to deter uh, companies who are scraping websites looking for photos. And uh, I don't want them to just start making this. Of course, they can. It's in the public domain. Um, but let's just hope they don't know that. <laughs> right? Okay. I'm going to... Oops. I'll, I'll peel back a corner of this. So you can see the, uh, what? Oh yeah, what's it called? <laughs> the codes. All right. Wow, squares are tinier than diamond. Squares are tinier than rounds. So that's why you get a better quality finish. And there's so much detail that I got the larger sizes. I don't even sell the smaller sizes because I don't want people to say that they're not happy with the quality because then they're going to say they don't like my company. Already they don't like my company because the prices are higher than, <laughs> than uh, AliExpress. But... That's the world we live in, you know. All right. Oh, and you know, one time I was curious about the prices and why they could sell things so inexpensively. And I I, I really don't know math that well. <laughs> so I asked Google if I were to go to China and have lunch, how much would it cost me? And... um it would be $10 for 
but in Chinese, whatever their currency is, it would be like a dollar, like a dollar sixty. Um, I'm using U.S. dollars, so for them, one sixty whatever is equivalent to our ten dollars. So that's um, that's probably a lot of money to them. So when you go to AliExpress and you see a one one dollar or a two dollar off coupon. And we're thinking, you know, that's not much off a $40 painting, but, or a $12 painting, but yeah, to them, that's a lot. You got to put it in perspective. Okay. What is it? These other two. Okay. So this one, are you ready for this one? <laughs> this is, I'm not going to say this right. Oh, I'll just look here. It's um, Maria Ana de Pantajos y Sanos. Maria Ana de Pantajos y Sandoval. Sandoval. Marchesness of Pont. Anyway, all right. Let's see. Marque de something or other. Seventeen sixty-two. To. Um, July 18, 1834, was a patron of the artist Francisco Jose de Goya e something. In 1786, at the age of 24, she married the brother of the Count of Florida Blanca, King Charles III of Spain's progressive prime minister. At that time, her husband served as Spain's ambassador to Portugal. In the famous painting by Goya, painted shortly after the wedding, the marching Mar M A <laughs> Marishness Mar Mar Marcinus, sorry, <laughs> is shown dressed in the attire inspired by Queen Marie Antoinette of France. Marie Antoinette is known to like to dress as a shepherdess. The elaborate coiffure. <laughs> Straw sun hat and flower trimmed gown imitate the entire of the French court of Versailles. That I know how to say. The extravagant foreign influence costume accentuates her tightly corseted waist, a fashionable, oh, fashionable among Spanish noble women. Her erect regal bearing and aloof gaze derived from Diego Vazquez royal portraits. In her right hand, she delicately holds a pink carnation, an emblem of love that is shown, that is often shown held by brides. The pug dog at her feet and its ribbons and bells echoes the stiff doll-like po pose of the mistress. Goya used in outdoors as a setting in the background, green trees can be seen, which are not very detailed in contrast with the white dress of those whoever she is now i gotta look that up to learn how to say it okay so i wanted to have this one like 60 by 80 but the the um that was not a good size when they showed me the the layout it was awful so this is 80 by 100 and it is $89.99. Can you see this one? Okay, I don't even know if you guys are still here because I'm just yakking away. It is big. Yes, it is. I graduated in 76. My brother did too, 76, 77. Okay, so this is going to be huge. Now, these are the, the drab colors of the day. But I love the pink waistline and the pug. I was worried about the eyes of the pug because the, the eyes are black and his face is black. But um, you will notice a difference that the eyes when you do this painting. Because they they blew it up to show me the difference in the colors between the eyes and the pug's face. I was worried about that. Okay. Are you ready for this? This is going to be a long one. Look at how long this is, right? And this is heavy. Man, this is going to cost me a lot to ship. <laughs> All right. 
look at this. Oh, I don't know how many colors are in this. I can't wait to see. Thanks for sticking with me if you're still here. Oh, three more minutes. I'm going to show you this, and then I have to run. But that works out because, um, whoops, that is going to work out well. I have to run, go to my board meeting. It's Zoom, so it's right here. I don't have to drive anywhere. Look. Oh, my goodness. This is really exciting. Oh, that took a while to take out, huh? And the artist's name is on here. Let's see. It's a little bit wrinkled in the end, and I think this is just from putting it in the box. The box that it was shipped into me, they were all shipped in one box, and it looked like it was dropped on a corner. But something like this, and because it's fabric, not plastic, it's gonna, it's going to be fine when you do it. Let's see how many colors. I don't know. Okay, let's see. I wonder if there's like two bags. Yeah, there's two bags of these in here. There's another bag in here. Again, it's folded in half, so I can't see how many colors are in there. I'm not going to open this packet to open that up. like Christmas, isn't it? All right, so you have two, two, <laughs> this is a drill here. I have two of these right here at the house. Wait a minute. Yes, two, uh, yes, I have two of them for sale. One of them has already been purchased by somebody, so I'm going to ship it out to her. All right. I'm going to go over here and open this up. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, look. Oh my goodness. I can see her face from the light in the back. Wow. Okay. If you want a challenge or if you you know what you would save a lot of money if you just bought one of these big paintings instead of a bunch of those itty bitty ones huh let's see how many colors i'm going to open this edge here a little bit whoops shoot 50 colors you know that kind of surprises me but then again it's a lot of different shades of gray all right so i'm going to open this a little bit so i can show you the codes in this it's probably going to be like the other one now even though these are really really small i don't know if you're going to be able to tell they are incredibly clear can't got a glare okay sorry well i'm going to make uh i'm going to make another video rita and i'm going to put it on youtube and then, but it's going to take me a few days to make it because that way I can edit it. All right. Can you guys see? I don't know if you can. Okay. I, okay. So if you see anything that you want, comment sold or go to, um, yeah, go to a homespunhobby.com and you can order them. And I have 10 there listed, but I have two here at the house that'll ship out right away. And because they have this on file, I can just order it and uh, they'll send it out to me. Because I told them to hang on to the photos that I send them. Thank you for hanging out with me for a half an hour. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Rita. Thank you so much. All right, I have to go to my uh, my board meeting. We're not doing anything right now because of COVID. We had to cancel our spring show. And then we wanted to do it at Christmas time. Can't do it at Christmas time. Hopefully we can do it in the spring. A year later than we planned. Thanks, everybody. Bye.
Thank you, Rita, for hanging out. Thank you, Stephanie, and anybody else who's here. Have a great night.